What's up guys? Welcome to um, an exciting vlog. Over the weekend I showed you uh, some samples on my Instagram page. I said on Friday that um, I'd be uploading the video over the weekend, but I wasn't I wasn't with the car, so I wasn't able to do that video, but I'm with it now. I'm nursing it back to health. I'm driving it fairly um, conservatively as we head over to one of my favorite spots to do these uh, videos where I picked up this car. Um, it's really quiet, you never get any traffic there. Um, um, so uh, it's a fantastic place to do a vlog, especially as I'm going to be walking around this car talking to you about a few options that we've got for the wrap that's going to be coming. And I want you guys to help me as well. Um, the last wrap that I did, this one, the Iron Man, um, which I'm now sick of, I wanted that to be a sort of, sort of, sort of a surprise. So um, that was why I sort of held back. I enjoyed everyone who was getting involved, telling me different ideas and everything. But once I had my heart set on the red and the gold, uh, then that was it. And I wanted to uh, tease you a little bit. Whereas this time, I want to get you guys involved. I want to um, create the most well-liked Audi R8 that's possible. So uh, hopefully you guys can come up with some really awesome suggestions. Um, and uh, we're going to look through some samples that we've got here. Um, and hopefully be able to create uh, the most uh, amazing Audi R8 that you guys help, uh, helped. So um, hopefully when we pull up, uh, we'll be able to uh, talk to, I'll be able to talk to you about uh, some various ideas that I've had, some samples that I've been sent, um, and then we'll go from there. One thing that I will say is, although Chrome is uh, hugely popular, um, it looks fantastic in photos, the reality behind it is it's so difficult to live with. Uh, the scratches that come from pretty much uh, just applying it um, are just really annoying, and it's also very difficult to maintain, keep clean, um, and wash. So uh, we're going to stay away from Chrome um, as much as it's probably going to disappoint some of you guys. There's still so many options that we can go for um, that hopefully uh, we'll be able to find a really, really cool colour or colour combination. Two-tone, three-tone, four-tone, whatever you have in mind. I just realised I've got raindrops here. It's been absolutely um, raining <laughs> here. So uh, the roads are wet, the roads are slippery. Um, but as you're just resting on the dashboard and my car's not um, too healthy, then I'm being very careful with how I drive. Um, although there is a slight underpass coming. The valves are off, so I just sort of... You can never not do it. That was the valve shut to 4,500 RPM, so it wasn't... Um, mental at all but still this has a really nice tone to it so uh, we're gonna head over to this really quiet patch of Hertfordshire someone's taken my space so here we go this is the uh, quiet area where I picked my car up from I'm just gonna turn around This four-wheel drive system is actually really hard to manoeuvre. I mean neutral. <laughs> Maybe that's why. And here we go. Let's start. Oh, I was just about to turn uh, the camera off when I really needed to turn the car off. Right. Let's go through some samples quickly. Sample section number one, the gloss colours. We've got red, orange, yellow, uh, quite a nice blue. Um, if you follow me Instagram, Twitter, you'll know that I'm a fan of the blues at the moment. Other sort of metallics, we've got purple, some turquoisey colours, blues, some more dull colours. These colours, that's quite cool, almost like Lamborghini orange, but I sometimes think that um, orange is meant for Lamborghini. So there we go, the baby blue's awesome. But these are all matte colours, and I'm not sure whether to go for matte blue or whether to go for gloss blue. If uh, you guys think that that's a good decision to go down. We've got some, uh, what are these ones called? Matte metal. The things that the company's come out with now. Right, matte metal. Shake. It's so difficult. Them out. What do you reckon to any of them? Try and open them up a bit. Matte metal. Always scares me this. This isn't like an abandoned old people's home, I think. I always feel like I'm being watched. 
Anyway, they're brushed aluminium, pretty cool. Not too sure about the black brushed aluminium, but you can get stuff like gold aluminium, which do look really cool. It almost makes it look a bit chromey, um, just without the, the um, upkeep of chrome. Check these out. I wonder whether there's thought that was a bird poo there but it was just water luckily what do you reckon to them red leather should we red leather up the whole car red leather's a bit of a uh, tongue twister or do we go carbon 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 always looks good, but I've got quite a lot of carbon in the car anyway. And these are the special colours. It's like velvet, zebra and uh, black camo, which um, I'll quickly show you here, but it moves. Yeah, it's like almost like a hologram, which is really cool. And I think with the whole car, it would look quite stealthy. So this is the, this is the big sample that I was able to get. This is the black chrome. So if you can see here, like it's not been done on a car before, but it moves around. Obviously I'm moving it, but the actual material moves as well. Can you see that? Like a hologram. So let's check out the car from the exterior. I'll bring the sample book. <clears throat> and talk about, it's a bird. <sighs> talk about the exterior of the car. What I did to, oh, I've got a spider on me. Have I got a spider on me? Can't see it anymore. Let's go back to the car. So I've gone with the two-tone, it's red. It did used to have the gold bonnet. It's got a gold roof. And at the back, it's got a fairly unique uh, break in color. Normally, um, well, if you're going through, I don't know how they normally break, but I quite like that gold and red break. I think it's quite unique. And there's only a couple of cars that actually have that. So, have you got a suggestion on how we do it? Now, I kind of want to go all out on this one because I want to keep this for a lot longer than uh, the Iron Man. Now, the Iron Man was uh, great for Gumball 3000. It was sort of had its own sort of personality. And then when I did the reaction video as well, that was awesome to be able to dress up as Iron Man and look like an idiot for the day. However, now I want to go like quite sort of uh, classy, something that I can keep for a long period of time. So uh, whatever we go for um, is going to stay on. So I want to do the brake calipers. Um, the wheels are staying how they are. They're staying black, I think. Um, I did have an idea if I did go stealth to make the wheels uh, sort of rose gold or gold um, along those lines. And then as we move around the back, um, do we keep the carbon side blades or do we cover them up in something or other? Not too sure. Um, and then the rear tail lights, I really want to black them out. I know that it's, um, you have to let some uh, light through because uh, it's le the legal requirements for cars, but the rear and the front lights would be really cool. Black Audi badges are staying the same and then going back to the back, I haven't actually got the R8, um, the R8 thing there, but I do want to bring that back. So I want to make that black. Um, so let's start talking. Let's get the sample out. These are the ideas that I've had. Can you see it? No. Bit of mouth cam there. So, the black camo, I was gonna do all over the car and then do like uh, really cool accents like here. I hope no one takes this idea by the way because I'm publicizing the ideas that I had here so it's there's a diagonal line there all along here flicking up there sort of into the tail light so we're gonna have like a sort of a horn on both sides in a bright color maybe in the baby blue maybe in like a gold or something like that so have the car completely stealthed out uh, with some really cool um, effects down here that are gold um, maybe have gold brake calipers maybe have a nice gold sort of swooping down here or baby blue or lime green 
Uh, they're the three colours that I had in mind. And then at the back, do pretty much exactly the same, mirror it from the front. So again, you can take it here and then all the way up. So that was one of the ideas and I do think that will look really cool. The other idea that I have is to make the car baby blue. So have the black grille, the black badges, the black tail lights, the black grille, the black wheels, the carbon side blades that make everything baby blue. Maybe do the black roof or not. Um, so that was another idea, baby blue with loads of black details, make it look really, really nice. Or do I combine the two? Have baby blue on the car. Hold on, I'll get the baby blue out so you guys can see it. Baby blue on the car with bear with me <laughs> right and black camo can you see that so baby blue on the full car black camo on the side blades um, on the roof maybe where the gold bits are not the grill not the grill where the roof and goes down the back is uh, black camo and on the side blades as well so that's the black camo on the side blades with baby blue does that work please let me know because uh, that's definitely an option to have sort of hologram camouflage with baby blue so and do i break it like that do i have black camo where the gold is and then baby blue where the red is. So um, there's so many options, and this is the difficult thing about um, when wrapping any car, um, there's just unlimited options, and these wrapping companies are coming out with new colors every single month. So uh, this is probably already outdated. Um, however, they're some of the ideas that I've had. I posted quite a lot of various colors on my Instagram. Uh, so we had yellow, I think we had green. Um, I may post another set of five up. If there's uh, some real out and out winners, people, uh, colors that people really love, then uh, maybe we'll consider them for the wrap. There we go, I've given you some ideas. Please let me know your ideas. If you're at school, if you're at work, wherever you are, have a conversation with the person next to you. I feel like I'm in like a, a lecture or something like that. Let's try and get this discussion uh, global. Uh, well, let's try and find as many people as possible to give um, your ideas. And uh, let's try and uh, make the perfect Audi R8. The car still looks fantastic. It's getting replaced next year by a replacement R8. This is a 2008. So this car is nearly six years old, or it is six years old. So, uh, and it still looks awesome, even from that angle. Oh, get me out of the way. Even from that angle. Let's try and create a unique, a one-off, fantastic looking Audi R8 for the Supercars of London channel. I'm going to listen to every single one of you. Um, I'm going to tally up all of the comments, all of the different ideas, pick three to five favourites and then put it to Instagram. Once that we've put it to Instagram and Twitter actually, um, then I'll be posting like a finale of two different ideas and then from there we'll go and get it wrapped in the, uh, the favourite, in the subscriber, the follower favourite, whatever you'd like to call it and then we're going to wrap this car and what you guys have picked. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let's start the discussion and um, hopefully uh, we'll all be able to keep up with the various ideas that get thrown around this massive global table. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. This Friday, I'm filming Living With The Supercar six month update, which is gonna be absolutely insane. Can't wait to do it. I'm gonna review this car um, since it's had a few niggles um, and also had a few upgrades as well. So um, look forward to seeing you very, very soon. I'm gonna jump back in my car and uh, head off and get some uh, healthy lunch because I'm absolutely starving. And the whole time I was filming that, I left the keys in the ignition, so uh, a ghost could have come and stolen the car. I mean, look how eerie this looks. Is there someone in there? Imagine if someone did actually come in the window, that would freak me out. It's empty. Absolutely empty. Apart from that car and my car. So I'm getting out of here, I'm getting quite freaked out now. So uh, see you guys soon.